Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we beat the first gym leader Faulkner. Here he is, fly type, gym leader. Uh, and, so, and as soon as you come out of the gym, you're going to get a phone call from one of uh, Professor Elm's assistants. Does that really sound? Assistants. <laughs> but yeah, uh, long time no see, Jimmy. We've been waiting for you. This is for Professor Elm. So, basically, he's going to give you an egg and it'll eventually hatch into a Pokemon. And I'm not going to say who. Maybe if you've played the game before, then you know who it is. But just for the people who haven't, you know, bit of a surprise. And if you watch the original anime, you actually might know what Pokemon this is. Don't worry, it's not Pikachu. <laughs> I don't know how you'd worry. I think you'd want it to be Pikachu. Pika! But Pikachu is a lot harder to get in this game. I'm actually not quite sure where you get him. <laughs> I think it's like somewhere in the bug catching. No, not bug catching. It's in the safari zone somewhere or something. I'm not sure, okay? <laughs> I never tried to catch a Pikachu in this. But straight away, if you come over here, you'll see a Pokemon. Well, a tree. I think this is a tree now. Does this look like a Pokemon again? But yeah, it firstly, look at it, it just wiggles around. So, yeah, you can't go through there yet. You'll be able to go through there later in the game. And here, Ruins of Elf. Not much to do here yet. So, you're going to want to come back here later. But, yeah, when I was wondering in the last episode what about the natures, um, what's it called? Oh, yeah, Crunchy actually, what's it called? His nature is relaxed, I so, and, uh, what's it called? I keep forgetting what I'm going to say, but it raises his defense and lowers his speed. When I when I uh, looked, this guy will give you a miracle seed. Once you've went to the Pokemon and beat the gym, and yes, you have to go up to the Spirit Tower if you're wondering. Yes, you're forced to go there. But yeah, we need to level up Nightwing a bit. Just running to a level six Bell Spirit there to you. As I was saying. That should give you a lot of experience for a level six. So we got looks like we got a battle. Wow! Right, finally. I see you were around here before. Do you think you're pretty tough, huh? Wait. Oh, they didn't say huh. Cool. Do you think you're pretty tough? Yeah, I think I'm pretty tough, my blue bag. Not really. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that really strange, but Super Sonic Go! Oh. See, it's really annoying when Zubat actually hits you with the Super Sonic, but when you hit them with it, it just it just feels so good. <coughs> felt so nice. It's making me moist. Somehow, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Alright, Lich Life. Why am I saying what move I'm saying when you can clearly see it on the screen? But, yeah, Nightwing is actually, it's going to take a while to beat these trainers. So, what I'm probably going to do. It actually skip uh, over till once I beat this trainer. So yeah, I will see you in just a sec. Okay, so we just beat this trainer, and Crunchy just forgot how to use Scratch, and he learned Scary Face. 
just in case we want to. I kept Rage because just in case we want to do like the PGO top strategy we used on Faulkner, so we'd use Rage and then just be open. Not really open, you know. Run away. Okay. Um. Over here is normally the route I go. Instead of going through the left, if I, unless I want to actually reverse all the trainers, there's more items that way. So if you want to do that, then you can. I believe this guy or that guy here, one of them, will be a magic up trainer. So I want to actually. I think it's this one. So if it is, I want to skip till the battle's done. Yes, it is. I want to skip till the battle's done. I'll see you in the Hey, we're back. That trainer, he's just so annoying. It took way longer than it should have as well. He has three level f uh, five magic ops and one level 15 total oil. Yeah, actually took a while, so. Close to the level 15 magic arp. I literally had to use Nightwing and spam Astonish and Leech Life. And it's very annoying. Some of the trainers in this game also really are very iconic to me. Like, this guy, yeah, he has like a level 10 Reaper, yes, yeah, see? And, like, some of the trainers' names, like, for Victory Road, like the trainer called Ice Trainer Jamie. Wow, well, makes sense with the same name as me. But, yeah, perfect. So, your name is Jamie. Yeah, that ability, Water Absorb, will, if. This we've got is damage. Well, if the Pokemon with the ability Water Absorb is hit with a Water type move, it will be healed up to half of its health. Okay, let's just buy. Oh, that's a health. Maybe we've got to take it. Out. I don't know. Wings. Not got the most of experience. Compared to Crunchy, but literally, if you saw his PP on Nightwing, which I'm just going to show you. Yep, there's the egg. Oh, it's on the bottom screen, but he literally has zero leech lives, 15 supersonics, and nine astonish. So, yeah, we're not going to use him just yet. Pokemon Center. Okay, so we are back. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm saying this, since it's literally just been a second for you watching. But, uh, what I actually done, I edited the rest of the video, well, the start, what you've just seen. So let's do the rest of the video. You can fight him. Uh, in between this video and the next video, I'm going to train up my Pokemon a bit. Because Nightwing is re really under level. Really under level. <laughs> well, not really, but yeah, I'm gonna switch training here, and then afterwards, I'm gonna first all the trainers. But yeah, let's do this. Up here, you can go get Rock Tomb. Uh, not that Pokeball, but a different one. In this cave, you can have Geodude. Zubat. Also, if you're lucky, you can even find an onyx. Wow. Pretty cool. Onyx is very um, defensive. And something you should know. Oh yeah, also Sandshrew. Yeah. I prefer Sandshrew than Sandslash. It's evolution. Just because I think it looks cooler. Remember... Like seven years ago when I first had Pine Pokemon and I had Heart Gold. Uh what's it called? Yeah, I had Sand Shrew and it had like rapid spin. And it evolved I stopped using it. Like on I literally used it. I caught it in here, I was like, oh it looks really cool. And I just stopped using him. I don't know why. I had Pokemon. They look cool. And I was like, no, he doesn't really look that good. 
Like he's not really doing that great. And then I get a different pop instead. So Yeah. Rock two? Yes! You can teach this to your geo dude and onyx. Only rock types I'd say you have at this point in the game. Possibly even sand you know? There's actually quite a lot of good normal types in this game, which is actually quite surprising. There's some of these like Rotata, stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Here yeah, is something you should know. Repel. Uh, I just use a uh, regular repel. So that means for the, re the next 100 steps, we will not run into any more Pokemon below Zubat's level. Zubat's level 9. Yeah. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna verse this guy here. It's like, cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Fire breather, rain. Why a fire breather in a cave? The world may never know. <laughs> yep. Switch train. Let's go, Crunchy. Uh, yeah, version exclusive. To Pokemon Soul Silver, Vulpix. If you're playing Heart Gold, you'll have a different Pokemon instead. Relief. Both of them very good. I had a source. I still have the hot, uh, Soul Silver. But I might be reselling it so my brother can play it and watch through this Let's Play. Uh, to see, you know, what I could add to the videos, you know what I mean? In the description and stuff. But yeah, Vulpix and Relief. Very good Pokemon recommend picking one up. I don't really go through the games with Grayly for all four picks. But you never know. This time we could do something different, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people really like Grayly. I'm a, I'm a fan of him, but I don't really I'm the type of person who literally have one. Probably once I'd get a firestone or something, you know what I mean? On my own. You know what I mean, my own. Okay. Hey, that's it. We beat Fire Breather Ray. 288 Pokey Dollars. Gotta switch into Crunchy. Whoa, what's the prize? I didn't expect to see anyone here. Then why are you looking for a battle here? Hey, hey. I'm trying to win this cave. Being in a lake. So that's why some people just messed up. Like, go crunchy! Du -du -du -du. Water gun! Uh, yeah, also, sturdy in this game freaking sucks. But this, I bet this Onyx has. You know, rock head, I think it's called, or something like that. Protects from recoil damage, like takedown, stuff like that. That's good ability but sturdy is terrible up until gen 5 that made sturdy that you can't get one hit KO'd like you get hit by move and you can survive with one HP this no they made it just to protect you from physio or whatever physio I don't know how are you supposed to say it? horn drill stuff like that one hit KO moves always one hit KO's your Pokemon but has a very very high chance of missing. Also, very low chance of hitting, should I say. Yeah, I don't normally use moves like that. Sheer cold or someone. Here we go, Crunchy! I don't know why I keep saying that every time we switch into him. But Crunchy's also almost leveled up. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Water gun! Bada bing! Here it is going. Yep. I love 15. Four times thick. What do you think? Hyper Russell. Isn't that like a comedian? Russell Heavy. One of my friends said it was like two years ago. 
I don't know why, but whenever I say like a sentence or something that's happened, I remember like the year and like where it happened. Oh god, I could just be like. Look at that. I'm chilling in the bath. And then just like remember a lot of cool things. I have baths and showers. This is really weird to talk about. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just stop. Crunchy, level 16. You know what that means? It means he's level 16. <laughs> When he evolves into Crocodile, he will learn Ice Fang. I thought he was gone for that battle. <laughs> Basically, my commentary was really bad. Like, I know my commentary isn't exactly the best saying, um, um. But yeah, that commentary was really bad. Like, seriously. I do really recommend going through this cave with repels, if you can even get repelled by it. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, go through this cave with repels, kids. Because if you don't, you're going to have a bad time. Nightwing, just level 10, why? Oh my god. Honestly, the wild Pokemon here is so annoying to bump into. Like, you know when I got my Zubat and said, oh, when I find Zubat, it's so annoying to run into. That people have. I mean, I've never really found him annoying. Because I've always liked you that. Yeah, Nightwing. Yes, uh, Bug is super effective on Psychic. Do not ask me how the hell that works. <laughs> but yeah, Bug is super effective on Psychic. So I can do some grill. Um, also, Ghost is super effective on Psychic. Those types make sense, you know? Where's the sun should go? Shouldn't it be like dark? So it's pretty narrow. Pretty astonishing. I just realised Crunchy has white. So yeah, we can go to Crunchy. Oh my. Okay, come on. Almost. One more bite should do the trick. Also, we're nearly out of this cave. When we are, we'll end off the episode. So, yeah. And tomorrow, we'll have another episode, hopefully. Well, I mean, since I've been doing this, I've been doing it every day, so... Because this series is so fun! It's my dream. To do it. Oh! Here we are, first call! Youngster Joey! Look! Episode 2, I was saying about this. Or 3, I can't really remember, but anyway. Howdy! It's Joey, how are you? How do you remember my super cool Rattata? My Rattata is different from a regular Rattata. It's like my Rattata is the top percentage Rattata. Rattata. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? No! Because your Rattata freaking sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, most of the time I actually go down there because I think the Pokeball's over there, but no, it's actually here. Awakening. Hey, we made it out! Thank God! This girl over here. Pet, pet. We got through that cave! It's much bigger than I expected. I'm sure that's a girl. It might be a girl. I've always thought it's a girl. Somebody might have thought it was a girl. Don't worry. Alright. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna end off the episode here. Hi, Cranfony. No. See, I remember this guy's name as well. But yeah, if you enjoyed, then let me know in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next video.